the intention was that maybe when I went to Brown University, I wasn't thinking about being a curator. But what I do as a, an artist, because I feel like all of us are a part of Source Energy, so we're given the opportunity to create our lives. And a lot of what I do is spiritually driven. If the spirit tells me I need to do something, I'm going to do it. Because I'm looking for maximum enchantment. You know what I mean? If, I, if I'm going to, spirit tells me, go to Rome. I, my, the first show I did, I got involved in the art business because I was helping a friend from New York, African-American friend, who wanted to get into the European market. And because I'd gone to school in Italy, I was able to go back to my old school and say, hey, I know you have empty walls. Can we stage a show here? And we stage a show. But the thing about it was it was very magical. I don't know um, if you get the impact of what I'm saying, because you know Rome itself is an amazing city. Now, Africans were always a part of the Roman Empire. And it is also said that the Etruscans were black people right that started Rome so to be doing a contemporary show in Italy that was not based on their sensibility and aesthetics was a dynamic thing for me because again bringing that um, cultural vibration to Italy was something that I wanted to experiment with and I know already that the Italians love black culture I mean if you look at opera right opera the most respected divas in the world. Uh, I, I've gone to see Leontin Price sing at La Scala in Milan, the most famous opera house in the world, and she could bring the house down. I don't know why they think she's so magical, but you know, she was. You know, and there's something about the black experience that um, Europeans tend to appreciate more than Americans.